Hi everyone, welcome back to Kids Church. I hope that you've had a great week. We're going to get right to our verse. So remember, you can call me at any time when you've got your verse memorized. You can say it to me on the phone. Or you can call our church secretary, Mrs. Ledestri, and you can say your verse to her. Okay, here's our verse for the month of April. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10, verse 13. We'll say it again. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10, verse 13. Okay, so if you remember from last week, Jesus rose from the dead. That was our Easter story. And he appeared in the garden to Mary, and Mary was running to tell all of Jesus' friends. All right, so we're going to continue. Today's story is called Going Home, and it's called The Ascension from Matthew 28, Mark 16, Luke 24, and John 14. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, those are the first four books of the New Testament in the Bible. They're also called the Gospels. The stories and the, the passages in those first four books of the Bible really center around Jesus' birth up until um, when Jesus was living on earth, when he died on the cross and then rose again, and a little bit past that, which is what we're doing now. So those are the first four books of the New Testament, and they're called the Gospels, just to give you guys a little bit of information about the Bible, okay? So these stories are taken right from the New Testament of our Bible. Jesus' friends were afraid, so they were hiding in an upstairs room with the door bolted shut. But that didn't stop Jesus. He just walked straight through the wall. It's a ghost, Thomas screamed and hid under the table. But it wasn't a ghost. I'm hungry, Jesus said. What's for lunch? Peter gave him a fish. They all hung back and watched him eat it. This can't be, they were telling themselves. It's impossible. It's not happening. But it was right in front of them. Here's a picture. You can see they're all kind of hiding and not really sure what to think. And there's Jesus right here. He just kind of walked in. Okay. Delicious. Jesus wiped his mouth with the back of his hand and grinned. Can a ghost do that? He winked. And then they all laughed. I'm really here, Jesus said, and he really was. Peter's heart leapt with joy, and he fell into Jesus' arms, hugging and kissing him. The others followed. They felt their hearts would burst from the happiness. The friends ate together and chatted happily. And every now and then, they'd just gaze at Jesus and have to touch him to be sure they weren't dreaming. Jesus had a real body, but this body was better. It had come through death and couldn't get sick or be killed again. This body would live forever. Jesus had come back with a brand new body. Not only were sad things coming untrue, the friends realized, but they were becoming new again. Was God going to make everything new? Jesus said, I am the Savior and the Rescuer of the world. And they knew because he couldn't stay dead, because Jesus had come alive again, and that somehow everything would be all right. So there they are there, eating lunch together. A few days later, as they walked together, Jesus told his friends, It's time for me to go home to my father. They all looked worried. And then they remembered what Jesus had told them before he died. There's a place for you. I'll get it ready, Jesus had said. You know the way. Thomas had panicked. I don't know the way to get there. Yes, you do, Jesus had said. I am the way and the truth and the life. Do you remember that verse? That was our last month's memorizing verse, right? I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, 
John 14, verse 6. So Jesus is reminding them he is the way to get to heaven. When at last they reached the top of the highest hill near Jerusalem, Jesus turned to them and said, Go everywhere and tell everyone the happy news. Do you know what happy news they meant that Jesus meant there? He wanted the disciples to go and tell everyone that Jesus rose from the dead to save them from their sins. Here he says, tell them I love them so much that I died for them. It's the truth that overcomes the terrible lie. God loves his children. Yes, he really does. Suddenly, the whole sky was filled with a dazzling light. Now everyone can come home to God, Jesus said. Death is not the end of you. You can live forever with your Father in heaven because I have rescued the whole world. You can see them there standing up on top of that mountain. And something amazing happened. Jesus rose up into the bright air higher and higher. They shaded their eyes and watched him go until a cloud hid Jesus so they couldn't see him anymore. They stood looking up into the sky like that for a long time. Suddenly, two shining men appeared. What are you doing? They asked. Jesus has gone up to heaven, but one day he will come back. In the same way you saw him leave from heaven and from the sky. Jesus' friends went back to Jerusalem with a strange gladness in their hearts and something Jesus said that stuck in their minds. Even though you won't be able to see me anymore, I will never leave you. No, not ever. I will be with you. Yes, always and forever. How can Jesus be with us? and leave us at the same time, they wondered. They didn't understand. No, but soon they would. Show you the picture there. Okay, so Jesus spent some time after he rose from the dead with his disciples. And in that time, he reminded them that he was the way and the truth and the life. And in order to go to heaven... You have to go through Jesus. And that's why Jesus had to die and rise again. And they, he reminded them that he's going to come back. That's what the angel said to these disciples at the end of the story. Jesus went back up to heaven to be with God, but he's going to come back again. Okay. I've said this before. I've been saying this as we've been talking about some of these stories that are a little bit more different, difficult to understand. If you have questions, please call me. You can also call Mrs. Ledestri, and Mrs. Ledestri can help you, or Pastor Michael can help you. Please reach out if you have questions and you want those questions answered from us, okay? All right, let's do our verse one more time. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10, verse 13. I hope you all have a great week. Don't forget to call me if you've memorized your verse. Bye.